Hello everyone and welcome back. This is your host Reverend Adam and on today's episode we are showing you how to make fast luck oil. And this is going to be a very basic recipe for fast luck oil. And uh, you can always go a little bit more advanced with this using things like lemongrass added to the existing blend I'm about to show you. But you can always make it your own, which is the point. This is just a very basic blend. Um, this is one of the blends that I do make and use myself as well as sell. And today, as you can tell, we have these bottles here. Now, these are one ounce bottles that we have. And we're going to, I like to typically use um, the darker amber colored bottles for making these. But these bottles will work just fine. I'm out of the amber right now. And uh, you can see clearly what's going on inside of the bottle while I'm making the video. Now we're going to use three different essential oils today to make this. And then uh, when I put these oils in here, um, you're going to basically dilute these oils using a carrier oil like olive oil or um, using a carrier oil like uh, sweet apricot, uh, sweet almond oil, sorry, or apricot oil, Jehovah oil. Uh, these are great carrier oils. I prefer olive oil. Um, to me, it's a little bit more spiritually um, sound because it calls me more spiritually. And to me, it represents peace and uh, joy. So I use um, olive oil. I also find it doesn't go bad as quickly as sweet almond oil or a um, grapeseed oil would. Now, Jehovah oil actually doesn't go bad very quickly at all. It's sort of like a liquid wax. So it's a very good oil for a carrier if you're looking for a different one that is uh, going to last you a long time other than olive oil. Now, today with our bottles, what we're going to do is just add a few drops of each one of these essential oils to our bottles today. We're going to be using winter green essential oil, just a few drops of our winter green in each bottle. Now, I've used 15 drops in this bottle, so I'm going to put 15 drops into this next bottle of our wintergreen essential oil. Now, it doesn't have to be exact, just go with what calls to you. I'm using 15 today because that's the number that just came to me in spirit, uh, so that's what we're using. Now, in this recipe, the ones that I sell are a little bit more exact in the recipe. You have to use exact measurements, so that way it's more consistent um, with time and uh, purchases uh, from clients. So now we're also going to use vanilla essential oil and I don't have very much of this left, but I do have some vanilla powder as well that we're gonna be adding. I have just a few drops of this vanilla essential oil left. So I'm gonna put one, two, three drops in the first bottle. One, two, three drops in the second bottle. And then I'm just going to divide the rest of this. Six. Okay, that brings us up to six drops per bottle. Okay, there we go. That's six drops of, of this vanilla essential oil to each bottle that I'm doing today. Now, usually... What I like to do is even it out. The same amount that I put of one of the other oils, I put of the other oils. So I would do 15 drops wintergreen, 15 drops vanilla, 
15 drop cinnamon. I just like that evenness to it. That's my preference, but today I have to work with what I have. We also have cinnamon essential oil today. And cinnamon essential oil is wonderful smelling. I, I just love it uh, in this blend. And uh, we're gonna add this here today. So I'm gonna add five drops of this because it is quite powerful. Okay, and five drops in the other bottle. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put that aside. And what we're going to do is we're going to add our vanilla bean powder. Now this is a powder made from grinding up vanilla beans. It is quite uh, delicious and wonderful smelling. And you know, if this wasn't my, uh, my spiritual stock for making spiritual product, I, 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 I would just go ahead and cook with this. It just smells so wonderful. So as you can tell, I'm using a dropper to kind of take some out because it's gonna be easier to in this case. And then I'm just squirting that into our containers if it wants to go. There we go. I'm just using a dropper to pick it up and put it into our bottles today. And when we have that done, we want to go ahead and now fill up our bottles with our carrier oil. So give me one moment, I'm gonna grab my olive oil and then uh, we'll fill up our bottles. Now, as you can see here, I have extra virgin light olive oil. Now, this is extra light tasting when you buy it in the store. So sometimes I find when it says extra light tasting, it actually has a much lighter scent to it. And uh, it'll carry the scent of our essential oils a lot better. It doesn't have to be this. I've also just used plain extra virgin olive oil, uh, which works great as well. So use whatever you can find that you're comfortable using. And just fill up your bottles now with your carrier oil and be careful you don't spill it but if you do it's okay sometimes making products can be a little messy just take a cloth wipe it down no big deal okay and now once you've gone ahead and added your carrier oil, you want to have these age for about a week. It's not a necessity, but you can wait about a week for them to age. The smell of the essential oils, everything's going to gather quite well. You don't have to wait a full week for them to age, but what you do want to do is you want to go ahead and bless them. As you can tell, I have some incense here. And this incense is a fast luck incense. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our oils like we did our fast luck candle, and we're going to put them in the smoke. We're going to bless them with the smoke. We're going to visualize the smoke, clearing them of all blockages, all negativity, and just bringing in that energy of fast luck from the universe, helping us to bring our luck in in a very swift and efficient manner, helping us to bring that luck into our lives and into the lives of whomever is going to use this oil. And then, now off, off camera, I'm going to go ahead and bless these. I'm going to visualize. I do a little bit more blessing on these. Uh, but you want to, after the smoke, you just want to take your oils, hold on to them, visualize a little bit more that energy of, of the Lord, the universe going into the bottles, blessing the oil for its purpose. And then you can go ahead and cap them, either use them right away or 
let them age for about a week and the week would be great um, because it gets like i said before it gets all of these um essential oils to blend quite nicely into their carrier and it just smells so much better with age but as it gets older it gets better and better so you would just go ahead and at that point cap them up you can use this oil for blessing candles instead of going through each essential oil for that candle you can always use what's known as a condition oil which fast luck oil is a condition oil you would use this just adding a few drops using a dropper like this or, or whatever you can into the candle adding your uh dried herbs or powdered ingredients to the candle and then uh, lighting it through the ritual process. You can also use this to anoint things. Uh, just do not use it to anoint plastics or fabrics, okay? Uh, because it can stain the fabric and it can also eat through the plastic. Uh, make sure you wash your hands before eating. All of the proper, you know, procedures you would go through uh, for safety, of course. But there is uh it's safe to work with it's efficient uh just don't you know use it for purposes that you wouldn't normally use a spiritual oil for so for external purposes only but uh, you can anoint doors windows um you know above them you could anoint uh, your wallet even if it's uh, leather um, there's different things you can do you could take a little dollar bill and anoint the corners with the oil um, you could even take this oil and anoint one of the corners very lightly because you don't want to mess it up one of the corners of let's say a lottery ticket Okay. Once more, thank you for tuning in. This has been your host, Reverend Adam, and we have now shown you how to make fast luck oil. Please don't forget to subscribe and like in the bottom of the video. And uh, the link to our website, merlinsstaff.com, will be available down below. Thank you.